What's going on, family? I'm Scrapbook Boxing, the Museum of the Forgotten Fisticuff series. I'm going to do a second video. First video I did like this was a year ago. It's the collection of my boxing exhibit cards, so this would be considered part two. And I'm just going to take you on a small tutorial visit. Watching my collection. I hear you have Jack Shark, the Boston Garb. He was a heavyweight champion in 1932 when he would take on Max Schmeling. And he would lose his title to Primo Carnero, this man right here. He would be stopped in six rounds. Now, back to Jack Sharkey for one quick minute. He was the fighter that you hear me often talk about. But he took on Harry Wills. Here's Harry Wills right here. He fought Harry Wills in 1926. And he said Harry Wills had threw low blows and he was excessively holding. So they disqualified Harry Wills. And they would take away his colored heavyweight championship title. That he had defended 25 times and he fought uh, Sam Langford 22 times. Dynamic fighter was Harry Wells. But that controversy took place with Jack Sharkey. And Jack Sharkey was involved in so many controversies. But uh, he was a very good fighter, the Boston Garb. I met him. He was a referee for Archie Moore. But he took on Yvonne Durrell and Canada. Referee twice. Here you have uh, Mike Dundee. Here's another one of Mike Dundee. So I have variations of these fighters. You have the Fargo Express Billy Patrol, outstanding lightweight and junior welterweight. He was in a ring with Barney Ross as well as Babalino. He never won a title, but he was a phenomenal fighter. Here you have Joe Dundee. He became a welterweight champion. But he took on Pete Laxo. You have Mike Gibbons. Mike Gibbons was the St. Paul Phantom. He's in my top 10 greatest middleweights of all times. Bud Taylor, Charles Bud Taylor. He was trained by Chappie. His name was Jack Blackburn. Joey Sungal. Got two variations of him. Fantastic fighter he was. Here's Pete Lasso. I just spoke about him a moment ago. This fighter here, Frankie Gennaro. Very good fighter. Very, very good fighter. He was a flyweight. He took on Black Bell. And uh, many others, but he was a dynamic fighter. This blue card here, Tony Canzanari, have variations of him. He was a phenomenal fighter. Tony Canzanari, one of the greatest fighters. He's my number nine greatest fighters of all times, along with Benny Leonard and Johnny Dundee. This fighter here, Johnny Farr. Oh, he was a very good fighter, he was. So I'm just spinning around. Jack Dempsey, the Manassa Mola. If Harry Cook, who was a colored lightweight champion. Petey Savone. Petey Savone had taken a title away from Freddie Miller. And he lost his title in October of 1937 from the great Henry Armstrong. Petey Savone, very good fighter he was. As you can see here, Bob Fitzsimmons. This fighter here. Just want to show you the name, Todd Moran, Todd Morgan, if you will. He used to have a gold cap, but he was a fantastic fighter. He was just looking at Lou Ambers. Here you have uh, Luther Slugger White. He was in the ring with Sammy uh, Angott for the uh, lightweight championship of the world. Matt Ogley. He's the fighting dentist. And his name is Leech Cross. Here's Sammy Ingott. And we're just going to run through some more of these fighters here. Luther Slugger White, once again. The great Sugar Ray Robinson is variations of him. Rocky Kansas and Jimmy McLaurin and the Babyface Assassin. Or Sykes and Joy Maxim. Tony Zale, who's a middleweight champion of the world. Now, this fighter here, his name is Jimmy Doyle. 1946, Ray Robertson had a premonition that he would kill a man in the ring, and it turned out to be Jimmy Doyle. That was his first welterweight championship title defense. Here you have Rocky Marciano, 49 0. Harold Dad and John Henry Lewis. Eugene Creaky.
There you have Gene Tunney, Jersey Joe Walcott, Elmer Violent Ray, Muhammad Ali, Joseph Lewis Barrow, Jack Blackburn. And I just put as many cards as I possibly can, could put on this. This is my countertop. I'm in my kitchen right now. As you can see here, Jess Willard, James J. Jeffries, the Boilermaker. Danny Kramer. This is um, Tommy Ryan and Gene Tunney. Sid Terrace. Sid Terrace took on Ruby Goldstein. It was a six-round affair because Terrace was 19 years old. In a New York sack, they couldn't allow a 19-year-old to go more than six rounds back in those days. This is at the Polo Grounds. And I spoke to Ruby Goldstein myself personally. He told me a lot of stories about all the referees, matches that he uh, performed with the Ray Robinson and Randy Turpin and uh, many, many more. Here you have Sam Langford, variations of him, Joe Jeanette, Sam McVeigh, Jack McVeigh, who was, known, he had, who was known as the Pride of Harlem, Julius Williams, Joe Dundee, Sammy Mendel. This fighter here is a very, very good fighter. I'm trying to see if I can get, show the name to you. Once again, I'm with Ivan Ray, Harry Cook. These are all variations. William Gorilla Jones, Bruce Flowers, Benny Leonard. Here you have uh, uh, Joe Chip. Joe Chip. He had a, a brother. And uh, George Chip was uh, his name. Then you have George Chip. And then you have um, Noah Busso, Tommy Burns, Rocky Graziano. I just, you know, put the cards in not so much order, but just spread them out so you can just get somewhat of an idea of what's in this collection here. This is only 25% of my, what I have. I have like 5,000 of these boxing cards. So you have Joe Gans. Joe Gantz was one of the greatest. I have him the greatest lightweight champion of all times. I have this man here, Ike Williams. He's, also, he's in the top 10 greatest uh, lightweights of all times on my list. Sam Langford, Bo Jack, another great lightweight. Bob Satterfield, Lou Ambers, Gil Turner, an outstanding fight. 1952, was in the ring with Kid Gabalon. 11 round knockout, but what a hell of an affair. So you can see here's Charles Sonny Liston, Benny Bass, out of Ukraine. You have um, Eladio Valdez, Black Bill. I was mentioning to you, I guess, Frankie uh, Gennaro. He was in the ring with him. He was a fantastic flyweight. Here you have a fighter by the name. In fact, he was the first black light heavyweight champion, Baleng Siki. Fantastic fighter he was. The first black middleweight champion, the other Tiger Flowers. Panama, Al Brown, Bantamweight champion. Chick Sucks. He has Sefrino Garcia, who was a middleweight champion. Floyd Patterson, Bob Satterfield. You got Henry Armstrong. I have about 10 of these, I believe. So just wanted to give you uh, somewhat of an idea of some of the cards that I have. I'll probably do a part three. Uh, so anyway, I'm scrapbook boxing, the museum. Here's a Jake Lamada. He was something else. I met him so many times. He was a gentleman. Harry Wells. In fact, let me show you some of the Harry Wells that I have here. Here's Harry Wells. There you go. Harry Wells. Got Harry Wells. Here's George Godfrey, the Leaperville Shadow. And he would wind up picking up that colored heavyweight championship belt when Harry Wells was disqualified. He would defeat Larry Gans of Canada. And Harry Wells trying to show you some of the Harry Wells cards. I have about 15 Harry Wells 
cards, different variations. All right, so I'm Scrapbook Boxing Museum and the Forgotten Fistic of Series. I just wanted to show you a part two of my collection of boxing exhibit cards. Thanks for watching. Be well.